average home price in our region of Waterloo is now 1.2% lower than what it was in July of last year. Summer vacations, Bank of Canada increasing the interest rates yet again, people playing the wait and watch game. These are all contributing towards the slowdown to an extent. Hello everyone and welcome back to the real estate market update for our region of Waterloo. And in this video, we will see how the real estate market did in the month of July of 2022. For those watching this video for the first time, my name is Sid and I'm a realtor serving the Tri-City of Kitchener, Waterloo and Cambridge in Ontario. If you like this video and would like to be notified every time a new video is released, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press that bell icon. There were a total of 550 residential homes sold in July of 2022 which is a decrease of 32.8% when compared to July of last year and 32.3% below the previous five-year average for the month of July. Total residential sales in July included 337 detached homes, which is down by 30.4% from July 2021, 36 semi-detached homes, which is down by 41%, 112 townhomes down by 32.9% and 65 condominium units again down by 39.3%. When compared to June of 2022, we saw an increase in sale of detached homes and townhouses, but a drop in sales of semis and apartment style condominiums. Now let's have a quick look at the average sales price for different property types in our region of Waterloo. The average price of a detached home was $842,264. This represents a drop of 6% when compared to July of last year and a drop of 7% compared to June of this year. The average sale price for a semi came down to $661,087, which represents an increase of 1% when compared to July of 2021 and a decrease of 5.4% compared to June of 2022. The average sale price of a townhouse also dropped to $642,750. This represents a 3.6% increase from July of 2021 but a decrease of 3.3% month over month. The average sale price of an apartment style condominium increased to $521,731, which represents an increase of 20.4% year over year and an increase of 4.1% month over month. The average sale price for all residential properties in Kitchener Waterloo area dropped to $752,479. This represents a 1.2% drop when compared to July of last year and a 4.9% drop month over month. Let's look at this new chart that shows average sale prices for the month of July over the last three years for each of the three cities, which is Kitchener, Waterloo and Cambridge. And the fourth part that you see on this chart is for the region of Waterloo as a whole. Cambridge saw the highest increase in property prices last year when compared to 2020 and is now seeing the biggest drop in 2022 of 6.5%. So far this year, Kitchener properties are still 1.8% higher than where they were last year in July. Waterloo is almost at par with slight increase of 0.2% and as discussed earlier, overall average residential price in our region of Waterloo is 1.2% below where it was last year. So if you were to compare the house prices now with what they were in 2020, Despite the drop this year, an average house price is still approximately 19% higher than what they were a couple of years ago. Another reason for the drop in home prices is the increase in supply. A total of 1174 new listings were added to the MLS system in July of this year, which represents an increase of 34% year over year and 9.2% increase compared to the previous 10 year average for the month of July. The average number of days to sell a residential property in July increased to 18 days as compared to only 11 days in July of last year. The previous five year average has been 17 days. This is it guys for this video. I will see you again next month with the statistics for the month of August 2022. If in case you have any questions or you want to get a free home evaluation done for your property in Kitchener, Waterloo and Cambridge, feel free to give me a call on the number given below. Thanks for watching. Please take care and stay safe. I'll see you soon.